So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's class guys, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 1st to 2nd of March 2023. All right. So I hope everything is fine and yeah, let's begin with the session without any delay and let's talk about the very first question which says a function was recently held to commemorate success of Swayat, which is startups, women and youth advantage through e-transactions. You should remember the full form of Swayat on government e-marketplace. So basically Swayat is an initiative on government e-marketplace to promote the products being made by startups, women and youth, right? And a function was recently had to commemorate the success of Swayat, right? So the question is very simple. When was Swayat launched on government e-marketplace by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry? That is the question, okay? So let's talk about the news and then we will come back to the question. So this function was held to commemorate the success of Swayat and Swayat remember guys was launched in the year 2019 on Gurmati marketplace by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry with these objectives, right? The objective is to promote inclusiveness of various categories of sellers and service providers on the gem portal. And this Swayat was focused on three categories of sellers, which are startups, which are women and which are youth right and to develop women entrepreneurship is one of the objectives and also to encourage participation of msme sectors and startups so as i told you the swayat is focused on three categories of sellers right now as i told you it was launched in 2019 by ministry of commerce and industry and if i talk about the success the numbers of swayat so remember till date 8.5 lakh mscs have done business on gem portal more than 1.5 lakh women mscs have fulfilled Seven more than uh, seven lakh orders worth rupees more than fifteen thousand crore, approximately sixteen thousand crores, and forty three thousand SCST MSCs have delivered one point three lakh plus order worth around uh, two thousand and five hundred crores on the gem portal. Now you don't have to remember these data; absolutely not required for the exam. This is just for the understanding that actually Swayat, you know, is doing wonders and it is a huge success of the government marketplace right so that is all and the question was only on the launch year of Swayat. so the correct answer to this question guys is option e 2019 moving ahead to question number two identify incorrect statement about the fourth edition of national youth parliament festival which was recently held in new delhi right so national youth parliament festival is organized by ministry of youth affairs and sports which is headed by anurag singh thakur and this was the fourth edition the theme of this edition was ideas for a better tomorrow, India for the world. Ideas for a better tomorrow, India for the world was the theme. And remember this festival took place at in three levels. Number one, there was district youth parliament where more than two lakh youth from all the districts of all states and UT participated. Then second level pay, we have the state youth parliament, which saw the participation of youth selected by a jury from the district youth parliament and finally at the top stage we had national youth parliament where selected youths from the state youth parliament participated all right now talking about the national youth parliament festival as a whole so it is conducted to hear the voice of the youth who are in the age group of 18 to 25 years and who will in future join various careers including public services the very first edition of uh, this festival took place in the year 2019 with the theme be the voice of new India and find solutions and contribute to policy. Followed by that, the second edition took place in 2021 with the theme Yuva Utsa Nay Bharatka, and the third edition also took place in the year 2022 with the same theme as of the first one that is, be the voice of new India and find solutions and contribute to policy. And this year, the theme was Idea for a Better Tomorrow, India for the World. All right. So that is all about this and now let's identify the incorrect statement about this edition. It was organized by Ministry of Education. Is that so? No. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. So its theme was idea for a better tomorrow, India for the world. This is correct. And it seeks to hear the voice of the youth between 18 to 30 years of age. Not 18 to 30 but 18 to 25. So first and third are incorrect which means option E. One and three only guys will be the correct answer. And now moving ahead to question number three, India recently hosted the first meeting of governing board of Bimstech Energy Center, which is in Bangalore of Karnataka, which of the following areas were recommended by this meeting to be included 
under the specialized wing of Bimstech Energy Center. Remember Bimstech. Bimstech stands for Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral, Technical and Economic Cooperation. Let me repeat this. Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral, Technical and Economic Cooperation. Right? It is headquartered in Dhaka or you can say it is its secretariat is in Dhaka in Bangladesh and there are seven members in Bimstech. Now I have a question for you. Can you tell me uh, the name of these seven members? Right? There are some countries from South Asia and some countries from Southeast Asia. Okay. Let me be more precise here. Five countries from South Asia and two countries from Southeast Asia. So you need to write the name of these members. Right? And yeah, it is an economic and technical cooperation. This body was formed for economic and technical cooperation for the countries which are lying uh, near the Bay of Bengal. Right? So let's come to the news now. Remember India has hosted the very first meeting of governing board of Bimstech Energy Center, which is in Bangalore in Karnataka. And this meeting has recommended that Bimstech should include the Bimstech Energy Center should include certain additional areas under its specialized wing. And these three areas are cyber security, green hydrogen and energy transition. And during the meeting, India represented, uh, India made uh, presentation on establishing Bimstech Energy Center in India and that Bimstech Energy Center will be housed at Central Power Research Institute in Bangalore. Right? So this is also important guys that they can also ask that where this Bimstech Energy Center will establish in India. So it will be established at Central Power Research Institute which is in Bangalore. Alright? So that is all and which are the three specialized uh, which are the three areas which are recommended by India to include under the specialized wings of BEC. So these are cyber security, green hydrogen and energy transition 2, 3 and 4. Option D guys will be the correct answer. Cyber security, green hydrogen and energy transition. And with this let's move ahead to question number 4. Where has the first edition of research and innovation initiative gathering conference on material for sustainable energy been organized? under India's G20 presidency. So there have been many news, there are many news and there will many news regarding India's G20 presidency and all those news are important. You cannot skip, you cannot afford to skip a single news from India's G20 presidency. All of them are very important, right? So remember it was the first conference, research and innovation, uh, innovation initiative gathering conference on material for sustainable energy. It was organized in Rachi in Jharkhand. And this conference was coordinated by CSIR, Council of uh, Scientific and Industrial Research. Remember this conference was organized to elaborate on the critical need for the G20 member nations and participating international organization in the area of energy. What are the scopes in the energy sector? How we can improve the energy sector? What are the loopholes? What are the challenges? And how can we overcome those challenges? All those discussions took place. Took place during this conference, during this meeting. All right. Remember India's G under India's presidency, three more uh, RIIG events will take place. Number one, the Brugad Assam under the theme circular bioeconomy, Dharamshala under the theme eco innovations uh, for energy transitions. And number three, do you under the theme scientific uh, challenges and opportunities towards achieving a sustainable blue economy, right? And this was the first one which took place in Rachi and therefore the correct answer is option E again. Rachi which is in Jharkhand. Question number 5. Pe chalte si baat pe. Where has the Competition Commission of India organized the 8th National Conference on Economics of Competition Law to develop and sustain interest in economics of competition law and create a critical mass of anti-trust economists. Right? So this was a conference basically to develop and sustain interest in Economics of Competition Law. Remember, Competition Commission of India was established in the year 2003 under Competition Act. Competition Act of 2002. It works under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the whole objective of Competition Commission of India is to promote and sustain competition in the market and to eliminate all the, you know, illegal practices in, in the competition, right? So this was the 8th edition of National Conference on Economics of Competition Law. It was organized in New Delhi by CCI. And remember the objective of this conference is to stimulate research and debate on contemporary issue in the field of economics of competition law. Right? So basically to promote 
the competition law to promote the best practices in the competition this conference was organized and it is being organized by cci every year since the year 2016 theek hai so that's all isse zyada padhne ki zarurat nahi hai and this basic information about cci is enough for your examination and hence the correct answer is option a new delhi it was organized in new delhi question number 6 which union ministry has been awarded the porter prize 2023 at the india dialogue <clears throat> organized by institute for competitiveness and us asia technology management center at stanford university of us so remember this was the ministry of health and family welfare which has been awarded the porter prize in the year 2023 now why this award has been awarded to the ministry remember for its significant achievement in health sector especially during the covid-19 especially managing the the covid-19 for this the ministry of health and family welfare has been awarded the porter prize and as the question already mentioned the prize was announced at the india dialogue which took place at stanford university of us it was organized the india dialogue was organized by institute for competitiveness and us asia technology management center the theme of india dialogue was indian economy 2023 innovation competitiveness and social progress done right now talking about porter prize so remember the porter prize recognizes indian companies competing on the basis of value creation and innovation and strategy but this time it was not an indian company who got this prize it is the ministry of health and family welfare of the government of india which has got this award it is administered by institute for competitiveness and why it is named as porter because it is named after michael e porter who is an economist researcher author advisor speaker teacher and what not right sab kuch hai wo param gyani hai so let's come back to the question so it's the ministry of health and family welfare which has got this prize option c is the correct answer question number 7 With which country India has signed framework mechanism for mutual recognition of qualifications to enable both countries to ease the mobility of students and professionals between them? कौन सी country के साथ education और skills दोनों का mutual recognition हो सके उसके लिए framework sign हुआ है. So this country in question, guys, is Australia. With which we have signed a framework mechanism for mutual recognition of qualification. Now this. framework will enable both the countries this framework will enable both the countries to ease the mobility of students and professionals between them right and it covers as i told you both education and skill qualifications of the two countries theek okay? hai now this will facilitate two way mobility of young people for education and employment opportunities if i want to pursue education from australia i will uh, i will not face any problem in moving to australia for my education similarly if an australian wants to pursue education in india he or she can pursue education in india under this framework mechanism and similar is for the employment opportunities employment purposes all right and under this australian government will be contributing 1.89 million dollars for running skills program in the area of agriculture in our pyara bharat theek hai so the country in question is australia and that's why option d is the correct answer moving ahead to the next question which is about the national level exhibition to showcase talents and skills of person with intellectual and developmental disabilities it was organized by national trust the question is about national trust only it is a statutory body under which of the following ministry that is the question theek okay? hai so a national level exhibition was organized by the national trust to showcase talents and skills of persons with intellectual and developmental disabilities okay so objectives now talking about national trust so in this national level exhibition there is not much to grab so but uh, uh, national trust ke bare mein janna is important remember national trust is a statutory body under the ministry of social justice and empowerment and it was formed with an objective to enable and empower person with disabilities to live independently and to facilitate equal opportunities for them and to protect rights of pwds and to ensure full participation of person with disabilities right it is a statutory body which was established under this act now of course statutory body means any statutory statutory body are those guys which are established under any of the act okay so the act is national trust for the welfare of person with autism 
cerebral palsy mental retardation and multiple disabilities act of 1999 right and which clearly you know which which clears that it works this national trust works for welfare of four kind of disabilities which are autism cerebral palsy mental retardation and multiple disabilities all right so that is all about this and it works under the ministry of social justice and empowerment headed by dr virendra kumar vk option c is the correct answer and now let's move ahead to the questions which do not need much explanation questions in short but before that if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link is in description and question number 9 where has the ministry of ayush organized the first b2b global conference and expo on traditional medicine under sco shanghai cooperation organization to provide opportunity to regulators industries and business leaders in all the sco and partner countries to deliberate on various aspects of traditional medicine <clears throat> so it was organized guys in guwahati option c is the correct answer where has ministry of tourism headed by g kishan reddy in association with indian institute of tourism and travel management unep and responsible tourism society of india organized the third regional workshop on development of sustainable and responsible tourist destination for southern region now this was especially for the southern region and it was organized by ministry of tourism in collaboration with indian institute of tourism and travel management unep and responsible tourism society of india right it was organized in hyderabad option b is the correct answer question number 11 which agricultural organization will be organizing pusa krishi vigyan mela in new delhi under the theme nutrition food and environmental production with protection with shri anna shri anna is nothing guys but millets right and we are in the year international year of millets 2023 so this was organized by iari indian agricultural research institute option a is the correct answer and question number 12 where has president draupadi murmu inaugurated the 7th edition of international dharma dharma conference organized by india foundation in collaboration with sachi university of buddhi indic studies <clears throat> so where it was organized the 7th edition of international dharma dharma conference was organized in bhopal option b is the correct answer and guys the last question for today but not the least where has the first conclave on exploring synergies between day and rlm initiatives of rural transformation and corporate houses csir csr efforts in rural areas been held so where was this conference held it was uh, you know it took place in new delhi option c is the correct answer all right so that is it for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear and i will see you in the next session on wetness day till then keep studying and keep studying hard because the exams are approaching Thank you so much goodbye take care and god bless